Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on how to perform the deletion operation on AVL tree with one example problem. Okay, before going to the example problem, suppose we want to delete a node from the AVL tree. First, we have to observe that node has no children or are one child or are two child. Okay. Suppose that node has no child. There is no problem. Simply we have to delete that node. Next. Suppose the deleted node has one child. Okay. So that child is simply removed. If it also has child. So that child can be added to the parent, deleted node parent. Okay, next. If the deleted node has two tails, now the deleted node can be replaced with either in order predecessor of that node or in order successor of that node. Okay, the deleted node can be replaced with maximum element in the left subtree of a node that is called as in order predecessor. The deleted node can be replaced with minimum element in the right subtree. So that is the in order successor. Here the deleted node can be replaced with the maximum element in the left subtree. Here the deleted element can be replaced with the minimum element in the uh, right subtree. In this case, the deleted node has one child. Okay. So that uh, that node can be replaced with either left child or right child. Next, the deleted node has no child. We have to simply delete that node. So these are the three cases we have to consider. Suppose we want to perform a deletion operation on a node in the AVL tree. Okay. Now we go for example. So this is the existing AVL tree. So now we have to delete these elements one by one. Okay. So first one is delete one. First we have to check where the element 80 in the AVL tree. First 80 is compared with the root node value. So here 80 is compared with the root node value 80. So 80 equal to 80. So our deleted element is 80. Now, so the deleted node 80 has two children. One is a left child and another one is a right child. Now go to this case. The deleted node 80 has two childs. First one is a left child 40 and the second one is a right child. 100. Now that deleted node can be replaced with either in order predecessor or a in order successor. Now I am considering in order predecessor. In order predecessor of node 80 is maximum element in the left subtree. So maximum element in the left subtree is left subtree is this up to this point. In this one, the maximum element is 40, 10, 45, 5, 12, 43, 48. These are the elements in the left subtree. Among all the elements, so 48 is the maximum. So now we have to replace 80 with maximum element in the left subtree that is 48. So it can be replaced, 80 is replaced with the 48. Here, in order predecessor of 80 is 48. Okay. Now, 48 is the root node and left child that is 40. There is no change in this one and the right child is 100. There is no change in this node. Next one is 10. 40 left child 10. 40 right child is 45. Next 
10 left child is 5 and 10 right child is 12. Next 45 left child is 43. Now 45 right child we have to delete that node in that place. Now we have to replace 80 with 48. Okay. Now next right side 100 right left child is 85. 100 right child is 102. And 85 left child is 83. And 85 right child is 87. And 102 left child is 101. And 102 right child is 105. After deleting node 80, now this is the tree we are getting. Now we have to calculate the balance factor for each node. If they are minus 1, 0, plus 1, then it becomes a ABL tree. So these are the leaf nodes. All leaf nodes have balance factor 0. Because it, they have no left chain, they have no right chain. Left side, left subtree height is 0. Right subtree height is 0. 0 minus 0 is 0. Next, so now consider this node. Left subtree height is 1. Right subtree height is 1. 1 minus 1, 0. For this node, left subtree height is 1. Right subtree height is 0. 1 minus 0, that is 1. For this one, left subtree height is 1. Right subtree height is 1. 1 minus 1, 0. For this one, left subtree height is 1, right subtree height is 1, 1 minus 1, 0. For this node, left subtree height is 2, right subtree height is 0, 2, 2 minus 2, 0. For this node, left subtree height is 2, right subtree height is 2, 2 minus 2, 0. For this node, left subtree height 1, 2, 3, right subtree height 1, 2, 3, 3 minus 3, 2, 0. Now we are getting all the balance factors are 0 and 1. Hence, it becomes a area tree. Okay. Now, next element we have to delete 5. Element 5 we have to delete with from this existing tree. Now, B delete element 5. Okay. First, we have to check where what is the location of element 5 in this tree, not in this tree. We have to consider this tree. So first 5 is compared with 48. 5 is less than 48. Go to the left subtree. 5 is compared with 40. It is lesser. Go to the left subtree. 5 is compared with 10. It is lesser. Go to the left subtree. Here 5 is compared with 5. Yes. They are equal. Our deleted node is find. found. Okay. Now the deleted node has no left chain, no right chain. That means the deleted node has no chain. Then we have to simply delete that node. Okay. So after deleting, we are getting 48, here 40, here 10. Okay. Now we have to delete that, this node 5. Okay. After deleting the node 5, only right subtree is there, its value is 12 and this is 45 and 45 left child is 43 and 48 right child is 100, 100 left child is 85, 100 right child is 102, 85 left child is 83, 85 right child is 87, and 102 left chain is 101 and 102 right chain is 105. Okay, after deleting node 5, this is the tree we are getting. Now we have to check the balance factors for each and every node. So all these, these are the leaf nodes. All the leaf nodes have no left subtree, no right subtree. So that Balance factor is 0, 0 minus 0. Left subtree height is 0, right subtree height is 0, 0 minus 0 is 0. Now consider node 10. Left subtree height is 0, right subtree height is 1, 0 minus 1, that is minus 1. Now for this node 45, left subtree height is 1, right subtree height is 0. So 1 minus 0, that is 1, 
Next for this node, left sub pre height is 2, right sub pre height is 2, 2 minus 2, that is 0. For this node, left sub pre height is 0, 1, and right sub pre height is 1, 1 minus 1, that is 0. For this node, left sub pre height is 1, right sub pre height is 1, 1 minus 1, that is 0. For this node, left sub pre height is 2, right sub pre height is 2, 2 minus 2, that is 0. For this node, left sub pre height is 3, right sub pre height is 3, 3 edges. 3 minus 3, that is equal to 0. All the nodes have balance factor 0, 1, minus 1. So, all the, all, all the balance factors of the nodes are valid. Hence, it becomes a ABL tree. Okay. Next. Next element. Next element we have to delete is delete 1 or 2. Delete 1 or 2. First, we have to find out the location of 1 or 2. Where 1 or 2 is there. So, first... Now consider this tree only. So 1 or 2 is compared with uh, 48. Okay, it is greater. Go to the right sub tree. In the right sub tree, 100 is there. 100 is compared with 1 or 2. It is greater. Go to the right sub tree. Here 1 or 2 is there. 1 or 2 is compared with 1 or 2. So both are equal. Now our deleted node uh, is found. Okay, now this node has two chains. One is a left chain and another one is a right chain. So whenever the deleted node has two chain, okay, that can be replaced with either in order predecessor of that node in a or in order successor of that node. Now I am considering in order predecessor of that node. In order predecessor means maximum element in the left subtree of that node. For this node, okay, at left sub pre contains only one element that is 1 at 1. This is the maximum element. Now, 1 at 2 is replaced with 1 at 1. Okay. So, here in order predecessor of 1 at 2 is 1 at 1. So now 1 or 2 is replaced with 1 or 1. So after deleting 1 or 2, now that node can be replaced with 1 or 1. Now we are getting 48 is the root node. La right sub pre is 100. Next 100 right sub pre is 1 or 2. Now it can be replaced with 1 or 1. So this is 1 or 1. And 101 right side, right chain is 105. Okay. Now, 100 right chain is 85. Next, 85 left chain is 83. 85 right chain is 87. 48 left chain is 40. And 40 left chain is 10. And 40 right chain is 45. And 10 right chain is a 12. And 45 left chain is 43. So after deleting 1 or 2, that can be replaced with in order predecessor of 1 or 2 is 1 or 1. Okay. Once we are deleting the node, first we have to calculate the balance factors for each node. So these are all the organ leaf nodes. Leaf nodes have does not have left sub pre and does not have right sub pre. So 0 minus 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and 0. Next, for this node, left sub pre 0, right sub pre is 1, height is 1, 0 minus 1, that is 1. 85 left sub pre height is 1, right sub pre height is 1, 1 minus 1, that is 0. For this node, left sub pre height is 1. Right sub pre height is 0. So 1 minus 0, that is 1. For this node, left sub pre height is 0. Right sub pre height is minus 1. So 0 minus 1, 0 minus 1, that is 1. For this one, left sub pre height is 2. Right sub pre height is 0. Right sub pre height is 2. 2 minus 2, that is 0. For this node, left sub pre height is 2. Right sub pre height is 2. 2 minus 2, 0. For this node, left sub pre height is 3. 
right supply height is 3 3 minus 3 that is 0 so all the nodes have the balance factors 0 1 minus 1 hence it becomes a ideal tree okay 